things that I wish I knew when I start training. This is the top of the video. I separate you guys 12 answers that was very interesting to hear from white to black belt. And I do believe that you guys have your thing that you wish you knew when you start training, but I separate 12 interesting answers for you guys that's gonna help you understand and not, not making the same mistake, okay? So sticking to the end because those 12 answers, it's very interesting including myself and all the friends and students. So we put it together, a cool list for you guys to understand jiu -jitsu better, okay, and faster, okay? If you don't know me, my name is Mark Chinoco, Marcel Garcia, Black Belt. Let's try, let's jump right into number one. Well, I separate this from number one because it's like a very good one. Um, all of them are good. Uh, I asked some of the guys, uh, some of the girls actually too, and, and they ask, and they say, I wish how to control my ego. That was like, boom, the number one throw out there. I wish I control my ego better in terms of not just think about winning, 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 because when you always win, you don't want to lose it, right? And also, uh, the ego can be so bad for you. For example, you're on a foot lock, the person's attacking my foot, and then I don't want to tap because my ego is speaking louder than myself. So make sure that control your ego. Tap if you have to tap, okay? Uh, it's not shame, it should not be shame. So number one, I wish how to control my ego better. We are human, we all, we all have ego, so make sure that you learn how to control that, okay? If you wanted to do jiu-jitsu longer, learn how to control your ego. Never always think about win, win, win. Don't go to the academy trying to win every round, okay? Go to the academy to improve, not to prove, okay? That's going to be the number one. I wish I knew uh, how to control my ego, okay? So let's jump into number two. Um... I wish how to control, uh, I wish how to knew, how to apply, how to maintain four points of connections, right? I wish what four points of connection was. Sometimes we, as a structure, we wanna say, okay, keep those frames, keep those grips. So it's very easy to tell them, but it's very hard to absorb that. So I wish I knew four points of connection. What that means, Marcos, two grips, two feet, sometimes, Connect on the person. Sometimes we get grips and then we try to sweep and then the person smack one grip out. And then I have one grip, two feet, right? I have three points of connection. And then we believe that we're stronger. We try to sweep the person, try to do apply a submission and boom, the person right past my guard. So make sure that you control your four points of connection, okay? So once again, number two, I wish I knew better four points of connection. That will help you a lot, okay? Let's go to the number, detail number three. So I have my list right here. Detail number three. All right. I wish I knew how to link one point to the other, which means I wish I knew how to link one technique to the other, right? Uh, sometimes I think that's the number one problem in jiu-jitsu is like going to point A to point B, point B to point C, and then keep going back and forth, right? So I wish I knew better how to be more intentional with my movement, with my attacks, okay? So that's number three. I wish how to link better my connection, take a time, understand do those checkpoints, make sure I'm strong in my position, and then continue there, okay? Let's go to the detail number four. Uh, I wish... Uh, these are not the old me guys, but I'm just throwing out there the answer that I, uh, that I got for all the, the, the people. I wish what you want to use push and I wish you want to use how to pull. So basically, I learned for myself and I can give you guys advice. So think that way when you're training, you push to defend and you pull to attack. So I wish I knew that when I start training, right? Because when someone's past guard, people just tell you, Push, 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 but push where? Understand why I'm pushing, right? So push to defend, pull to attack. I wish I knew that. So these days I try to implement with my students, try to break down little by little, and that helps a lot. So I wish I knew 
once you push and once you pull better all right let's go to the number five number five i wish i knew how to use less strength right i think that's impossible to be honest invest in your jiu-jitsu today there is eight amazing instructionals for you to level up there is three lasso guard instructionals one for each needs there is winning double knee position everything starts for the knees there is a half guard plan how to pass the half guard there's two amazing close guard, one all about sweeps and one all about submissions. And there is also how to pass the last guard. If you want to check it out, go at bjfanatics.com and don't wait. Invest in your jiu-jitsu today. Um, want to use less strength? I get less tired, right? So um, make sure that you try to use less strength, more technique. But how am I going to use more technique if I do no technique? Okay, so the best advice, dose, your, dose yourself. So don't try, the best advice I can give to you guys is don't use strength leverage, use body leverage. So as I say, learn how to use your body more than strength. Okay? You don't have to uh, know much technique to learn how to position yourself, right? So, but that's the question that, I, that's the answer that I got from some of the people. I wish I knew how to use less strength so you get less tired. That was a very good answer. Um, number six, I wish how to ask a question. I wish that I knew how to ask a question. And that's the very, very interesting because when the students start training, they don't know if they're allowed to ask a question, right? And so do I. I wish that I could, I wish I knew uh, to ask a question. So the best advice, ask a question. Don't be that super annoying, but asking a specific question towards the technique that your professor is teaching you guys. Okay, I wish I knew how to ask a question. Uh, some of the blue belt mentioned that. That was very interesting. They say, man, I wish I knew that I could ask a question to the professor. That way it would help me understand better, right? Very interesting. Uh, let's go to the number seven, right? I wish I had a plan for each class, right? So, for example, uh, they wish what to expect Right? So, for example, through the academy here, I like to be the same toppings for the week, so that way they expect. So, I throw there Monday, uh, close guard sweep, close guard pass, close guard submission, and, and maybe a escape from there. So, they know they're going to be going through the week, so they expect that. So, that way they start thinking more, looking for more options. Maybe they search online for more variations. So, uh, that was interesting to say, this person said that, they wish they knew the plan for the for the class, so folks more on bottom, maybe folks more on top. So that was very interesting. So asking, asking uh, how the teacher, uh, 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 for example, how they uh, run the program. So asking questions. You don't have to be so detailed about it, but make sure that you're asking the teacher. Uh, how you like to teach, you got to do it by week, by month, or by day, whatever. So you have to know that. I don't see a problem asking that, right? So this is a good one, number eight. So I'm look at my phone. Number eight, uh, I wish how to use the underhook properly. That was a very good. So basically, I tell the students, I tell whoever teach, Whoever has the underhook in a grappling match, in a jiu-jitsu match, wins the battle, right? So, for example, I go for the half guard, the person do the wizard right there, just hook right there. The person is going to stop me. If I'm on top, I always look for the underhook, half guard, underhook, head control, pummeling. You always get the underhook, double under. So, whoever has the underhook wins the battle most of the time. So, that was very interesting to this, this person. Uh, once again, I don't know by name but doesn't matter but this person told me he wished that he knew how to use the underhook properly it's such a good benefit and a very smart answer on that once again those questions are gonna help you now focus on okay man now i'm looking for more for the underhooks and that's the benefits of this video okay let's go to the number nine I wish how to use my weight properly. I wish how to distribute my weight, weight distribution, right? So that way I will be paying the person more, I will be less tired. 
I wish uh, the, this person say, I wish I knew how to use more weight than strength, right? So that's very interesting. So focus and learn how to use your weight properly, so your weight distribution, so that way your jiu-jitsu, your, your role gets better in the long of the way. Very good. All right, let's go to the number 10, right? Number 10 is, I'm just doing check mark, guys, you guys can see here. I'm just checking the, the, the answer that I show, told you guys. Um, I wish I wish I knew how to um, don't relax in a bad position, right? I wish that I, uh, uh, because this person say, oh, I stopped in a bad position, but I didn't know it was a bad position, right? So that's a very good way to put it. So he, he wished that he fights better when he's in a bad spot. So for example, don't, I would say don't relax, right? But don't accept the fight. So understand your go into your position uh, against the other person. So he say, I wish had a uh, uh, don't. I wish had not accept b bad positions. Which these days, like don't stop fight, don't stop fight. So I'm talking about like color belts. You know, they accept the fight. So that's what he meant. So he meant like he wish that he knew uh, to not stop in bad spots, right? Or basically, he knew to not accept the fight, right? All right, let's go to the number 11. I wish my move should be the last move, right? So I wish I knew my move should be the last move. Could be an offensive or defensive. That, that's my answer right there. So I wish my move would be my last move. So I can speak that because I do that all the time. I focus on my move has to be the last move. I'm passing the guard, the person recovered the guard. The person, if I stop right there, the person did the last move. So what that means, I have to count that move, right? So I go for sweep, the person, uh, I hit the sweep, the person move back. If I accept, the person did the last move. So if I think that way, I'm always answering, counting attack. So that last move should be I was the last move in offensive or defensive. So I wish I knew that when I start training. So that way I would not accept that, right? So number 11, I wish I knew that my move would be, I was the last move. I wish I knew that, right? And the final one is one of the very, very interesting that I hear. I don't know how, who I, I hear from, but he was a black belt long, long time. And he say, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the big mistake that people does is they always trying to control, master the opponent, which in a, uh, uh, in a Jiu-Jitsu fight, right? So whoever have the dominance, whoever dominate the person has a big chance to submit, right? So, and this person focus on when you start training, don't focus on how to control your opponent, don't focus how to overlearn right because you're always going to be overthinking your brain will make you overthink so you cannot stop that all you can do is focus on the right direction okay and this person say don't focus and master your opponent but focus and master yourself learn how to move properly learn how to position yourself properly and then from there you always gonna have a bigger chance to control your partner so make sure that you learn how to master yourself first by breathing by control your strength by body positioning by base okay so that's what the the the, the jiu-jitsu is about so learn how to master yourself before you try to master opponent so that way you're always going to win the battle okay guys so everyone that's it for today that was 12 uh, things that i wish i knew okay so please let me know in the comments things that doesn't uh, match those 12 answers right here. Let me know things that you guys wish that you knew when you start training. And please help whoever's watching this video. Comment on the video and see what you guys like it. Uh, uh, what you guys wish that you guys knew before start training. Okay, so that way we, fi we fix the mistake that a lot of people have been doing here. I only call it a mistake if you don't know. But basically, you, you fix things that you didn't know. Okay, so... Those, those questions, those answers is for you guys to don't do the same 
probably the same thing okay so i hope you guys like this video it's just something something different i'm trying to bring bring different quality of content for you guys and i do believe that watching this video you guys are gonna learn more than actual training because you guys have to think more okay so thank you so much and if you like this video please you know what you do give a thumbs up subscribe share with your friends and that's how we support this channel so thank you so much guys i appreciate thank you